Don't celebrate the white man's holiday. From black separatists on the sidewalk in Philadelphia. We're in a battle here in our country to preserve what white America started from the get. To a national socialist in north central Pennsylvania. Do you believe that most of the evil in the world comes from Islam? Currently, absolutely. To an accused anti-Muslim group from Bucks County. Your NBC10 investigators travel to find what some call hate. According to the Southern Poverty Law Center, there has been a rise in hate groups since President Donald Trump's candidacy and election. Tonight, investigative reporter Mitch Blocker met face to face with the leaders of those groups. Hands on the wall. That's pretty smart for me. Okay. Before we can meet the leader of the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge at its Upper Darby headquarters, we meet his security. Once inside, we get his thoughts on President Trump. For many years, there's a lot of black people who didn't realize how deep the racism of white America was. And now that Donald Trump is in office, boy, it's clear now. Commanding General Yohanna told us his black separatist group is thriving, growing since the November election. But he won't say how many members the group now has. I never say. That might be the only thing he has in common with Daniel Burnside, the leader of the National Socialist Movement for Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, and Maryland won't tell us how many people are in his ranks either. But he tells us in Trump, his movement feels like it has a voice. I chose not to back him and not to breathe his name until he was elected because I didn't want to cause him damage. That's how bad I wanted him in there. What uh, the Trump campaign and now the Trump presidency have done uh, in effect is to normalize or legitimize a lot of the views of these groups. The Southern Poverty Law Center calls Yohanna and Burnside's organizations hate groups, an accusation both men deny. The SPLC says candidate, now President Trump, has played a role in a rising number of hate groups through his rhetoric at his rallies, his policies, and his tweets. The SPLC reports the number of hate groups operating rose to 917 in 2016. That is up from 892 in 2015. I certainly do think that the uh, Trump campaign and the election have had an effect. The NBC10 investigators asked the White House to respond to these claims. A spokesperson referred us to a specific line in the president's February address before Congress. We are a country that stands united in condemning hate and evil in all of its very ugly forms. The Southern Poverty Law Center says anti-Muslim groups in particular have benefited from some of President Trump's policies and his rhetoric, but one of the groups we talked to has a different story. Islam we have a problem with. Keith Davies is the executive director of the Shubat Foundation. Have you received more donations since Trump has been elected president? No less. Davies says he's glad the president is willing to talk about what he calls extreme Islam, but theorizes far-right supporters now don't think his group goes far enough. Davies insists his organization is not a hate group. Still, the Southern Poverty Law Center has the Shubat Foundation on its list of hate groups, a list that got longer in 2016. We are within 100 groups uh, of the highest count we have ever had in some 30 years of counting. For the investigators, I'm Mitch Blocker, NBC 10 News.